What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to another episode of Sanchez Scrapper TV. Today, we started it and completed the job. Uh, I didn't do the video because I was missing parts and, you know, I was working on it little by little. So, I bought this pump at Vero.com, V-E-V-O-R.com. Um, it was around like $200, like $220. It's a 12 quart double action hydraulic pump from my dump trailer. So it comes already pre wired with the control and everything. Nice, nice extension cord, you know, about, I'm gonna say about 10, 10 feet of cord. Uh, but I messed it up and I actually chewed it with the, with the box when I closed the lid. Um, so all we had to do to actually get this running is uh, you have your power cord, your positive, which is here, positive, you see it's cross, and it goes into the solenoid right here. This nut was actually loose, that means that that's where you're going to put your positive cable. And then this already is already screwed on to the motor. And then we have another one over here, which is a ground. You have to put it or else it will not go on. If you don't connect this one as in ground, now remember, one has a cover, which means it's a positive. So you, you don't get confused. And then you have this one right here. This one is for the ground. So I got a, a, a thick core. This is about, a, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say like an eight or a six gauge. I'm gonna say six gauge cord. Run it over. I'm gonna I'm gonna hook it on better to to the battery terminal, which is the negative. Uh, like I said, I've been working in in, in in pause because I've been very busy. I haven't even made videos for you guys, so um, and then I ended up um, when I got the pump, it came with these fittings that yeah, they're coming from the block like this. So this fitting was this fitting right here was not going to work with my uh, uh, with these hoses. So I had to go find these these elbows, these fittings right here, these small ones that that um that ha that are, are are installed right here. Those are like it's like this one. That one came with the pump. So all you had to do is loosen it up. It's really tight. So when you take it off, it's like it's really tight. You loosen them off, take them off, and put the ones that are, are the ones for your hose. So then I ended up buying this elbow. Um, we have a store here in Palm Beach where they only do hydraulics. Shout out to Mako. Um, that's where I got my parts from. And of course, this hose had already that, that, 90, that 90 degrees. So I had to put the new fitting on that side also. This side is the um, the return, and this side and this side is the, the the pressure. So basically, my old pump went out, and uh, it wasn't going down at all. It got stuck when I was dumping some some trash on, on the on the trailer, and I had to come back home. So the only way for me to come back is to unscrew this hose from the old pump. And basically just drip all the oil. Good thing where I was, they had a pan where I could capture all the oil and not contaminate the, the soil, whatever. But let me show you the old pump. So this was this was the old pump. It's been on, on it since uh, basically uh, I bought the trailer, maybe I'm going to say eight nine years ago so it did what it did i ended up buying a new solenoid because it started it started going out i bought a um the cylinder also the valve cylinder this is the valve cylinder i bought that one because this is the, this is the original one the square one this square one is the original one and this one i bought because uh it wasn't going down so the valve cylinder it was bad it wasn't making contact this was around $125, which is crazy. But, you know, at that moment, 
I should have I should have just bought a brand new a brand new pump because this is 125. That pump was like 220 dollars shipping the handling. Eh? To like 230, I'm gonna say I, I don't recall. Sorry about that. You check out v e v o r dot com where I got the pumps at. They have got good prices. I'm gonna show you right now how good this pump works. Well, not this one because this one's basura, garbage. And uh, basically, it's easy to take off. All it has is just two screws on the bottom. You can see those. It has one here, one here. Underneath your box, you go underneath your box. And uh, just disconnect it, and that's it. Let me just get this out of the way. And uh, let me show you guys. Because this core right here is, is messed up. But let me just put it on for you guys, and you can see how. I'm not going to pick it up all the way. And then at the end, once you have everything connected, make sure all, all the screws on the solenoids, without, without connecting to the battery yet, Make sure that all the solenoids, I mean all the solenoids, all the all the nuts are tight. Because sometimes they're, they're a little bit loose, you know. Um, they want to make good contact. So, positive here, ground here, and that's all I did. And of course, I connected my hoses. And now I'm going to show you guys. Just bring it down. Not the box. Oh, of course. The tank comes out, comes empty, so you gotta fill it up with hydraulic fluid. Uh, it's a 12 quart, so I have Bobcat hydraulic oil, cause uh, Bobcat gave me a this two gallon and a half, and it still has oil inside, so it's the same thing. It'll work, cause it's a hydraulic fluid. Um, make sure you have hydraulic, cause or else it's not gonna work. You fill it up, don't fill it up all the way. You don't, you don't want to fill it up all the way. Because remember, when it comes back, there's pressure. And then, then it builds up too much. That's why I bought the, the metal tank. Because the plastic one, when it had the issues, when you should lower it down, the, the tank started uh, inflating. It was bubbling up. It was, it was about to explode. So I'm like, no. Next, this time, I'm going to buy I'm gonna buy a metal one. And it's a lot cheaper. So, like I said, though. Watch. Ready? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Look at that. See the pump? Look how, look how fast it's going to go down. Wow. My old pump never did that. Now, I'm not going to pick it up all the way, guys, because... I actually have uh, some load in it. I have some scrap metal inside right now, and, and I don't want to tilt it all the way because it's, if I do, uh, it's gonna fall back. So let me show you guys again. What the heck? Never did that kind of pressure like that. You see how fast it picked it up? And I'll bring it down. Look at that. Nice. Shout out to Vero. Vero.com where I brought my hydraulic pump. I'm, I, I'm so happy with this pump, man. It's, it's amazing. That piece of shit that I had before, it, it sucked. It sucked, to be honest with you. And like I said, why did I waste my time on just buying a solenoid? I'm disconnected because I got I to... Gotta, Rewire that that the switch box was just because of that. You see right there, it's making false contact. So I wasted it $125, and then another I'm gonna say another $50 on the solenoid. Uh, so that's you know that's almost right there. That's a whole pump right there. I should have just bought a new one and, and installed it, and not have to worry about it. All right, guys, I hope you like this video, and this video helps you out. Uh, please give a thumbs up, like the video, share it, comment, whatever. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace!